Welcome to Glowing Beauty with Jamie. Welcome back if you're one of my subscribers and a great big hello to any of my new subscribers. Today's video is not going to be fun to make. I was planning on doing a sheet face Saturday, Sunday, whatever day I get it put up. Um, you know, my internet issues. But there has been so much stuff popping off and I am losing my ever-loving mind. Um, so I'm going to kind of put the two together. I am going to use this LMS Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. We would have gotten this in, come on, a BoxyCharm. Um, we're going to discuss. I, um, I did film some of this the other yesterday, but I think I'll put it up on my other channel because I did talk about a lot of mom stuff. Um, I was out plowing snow, so it's going to be another vlog for my tractor. Yay. Um, oh, it's been one of those days, y'all. Um, I've had about enough. <laughs> it takes a lot to get me fired up about stuff. I have a very long fuse. When you hit the end of my fuse, though, people tend to notice. Um, all I've done so far is I just, obviously, had a nice tub trying to calm down a little. I used my Origins uh, face wash that I've mentioned before. I'll put it in the box down below. I love it so much. Um, I don't even know where to start this video. I should have planned it, but I didn't want to plan it because I want y'all to know that this is, this is me. And what you see on my channel is always going to be me. What I think, how I feel, that's what you get here. And you know what? I might lose subscribers over this. I might lose views over this, but it's something I, I need to say this whole shit show with rich and luscious okay i don't curse y'all i don't know if i'll bleep that out or not um that's how you know i'm mad <laughs> it's gotta it's gotta stop and it's not what's got me so mad is it's not even rich and luscious themselves it's like this whole domino effect right so apparently you can only like rich or luscious you can't like both people okay first off i've got friends that have friends that i don't like but it doesn't mean i'm gonna not be friends with my friend let's grow up a little second off this whole keeping tweets from frickin' 20 years ago and then deciding to like broadcast them all out over Twitter or YouTube or wherever is bullshit. Excuse my French again. I, you know what? I might have text messages from that long ago because I don't delete my messages. It's kind of one of those things. I just never, never take the time to go back. But it will be a cold day in hell before you ever see me post those, if I were to need to. Um, in my opinion, when you are friends with somebody, you know, you trust, you trust them, you share information with them, whatever. Just because you quit being friends doesn't mean that, that you have to go out of your way to be nasty and spiteful. It, I just, I can't imagine, and there are people that I used to be friends with that I'm not anymore. I cannot imagine going and trying to put them on blast because you know what? Even though we're not friends now, we shared some good times. Why would I want to dirty those good times that we did spend together by bringing up stuff from the past? And people change, people grow, people learn. If we held people responsible for actions that they took a decade ago. There are a lot of y'all that would not be sitting so pretty. You know, culture changes, 
times change, things change, people change. That it was not all that long ago that certain words have been, were used in everyday language and it was how it was. Do we know better now? Yeah. That's, there's no debate about that. We don't or shouldn't go around saying the N word. People learn, okay? I am so sick and tired of everything coming down to race and what side you're on. I do not appreciate people coming into my DMs telling me what I am, who I am, who I should be hanging out with, who I shouldn't be hanging out with, who I can associate with, who I can't, what kind of content I put up on my channel. You know, stuff like this has happened to me in the past. Like when I got back from Houston, there was quite a few people slid into my DMs. You know what? I deleted them. Whatever. Not going to let it affect me at all. Um, and I'm doing the same thing now. I am not going to put these individuals on blast by posting their messages up on Twitter or calling them out publicly. I'm just going to address it here. I am loyal to a fault. To a fault. I have been loyal to people that have done nothing but use me and use me and use me and then when all of a sudden I don't have something to give they're not in my life anymore and that has killed me. That has happened in my family. I don't want those bad situations though to change who I am. I I want to have loyal friends so therefore I want to be a loyal friend. I want to be there for my friends. I want to be able to help them through situations that they may be going through. I will not be one of those people that I am just going to turn my back and say, oh, I'm done. I'm noping out of here. End of story. That's not how I operate. I had the chance to meet Rich and Nick in Houston. I did not get to spend a whole lot of time with Rich. From what I can tell, he's a very sincere person. I am going to make my decisions based on my interactions and my perception of things. I have not personally seen any racist behavior from Rich. I got to know Nick. I consider Nick a friend. I see where Nick is coming from because Lord have mercy, if somebody were to attack my friends the way some people are attacking Rich, damn right, I am going to be there and I will stand up for my friends. It's how I am. And all these people that are coming out telling everybody, oh, you need to be making videos, you need to be calling them out. No. Nobody needs to do anything they don't feel comfortable doing or what they don't have to do what they don't want to do. There are people that are saying that they are scared to put up videos about this issue because they're going to be silenced or people are going to hate them. I respect that because everyone is entitled their own feelings. Me? Hate me if you want. Like me if you want. I call things as I see them and that is how I am. I say it jokingly, but it is serious that I don't have a poker face. I cannot hide if I like or dislike somebody. Also, why does every single drama or issue get circled back to Jeffree Star? He said stuff in the past, he apologized. Have we seen it recently? No. We have had some people who have lied and said they've seen stuff. Oh no, I saw those receipts on the phone. Bullshit. Didn't see them. Can't prove it. Done. Everything doesn't, the sun does not rise and set on who likes or dislikes Jeffree Star. Just like the sun does not rise and set on who likes rich or who likes luscious. These are people that you watch on YouTube. It might hurt your heart 
because I look at it and it hurts my heart that they had a 10 year friendship that disintegrated. Why it did, not my business. I'm sad somebody lost a friendship. And it should be that easy to comprehend. Luscious throwing that shit out about Dustin being on Grinder when he was in Houston and oh, he was paid to be there. Who cares? What if it was true? Dustin had to take time away from his life to help Rich. It would not have been a bad idea for Rich to slide him a little money for helping him out. What would be so wrong with that? And Dustin has said to himself, his boyfriend knew full well what he was up to in Houston. So why are you going to bring that up and potentially ruin somebody's relationship that is low, that is disgusting, that is uncalled for? My opinion. I cannot stand to see the divide that all this is causing. I will say that yes, both Rich and Luscious, they should have dealt with this shit on their own behind closed doors. Somebody's feelings are hurt, you talk to them. Oh, because right now, videos I'm seeing are of viewers that feel like they're in the middle of a tug of war. It is like a nasty custody case gone wrong. And that is not fair. People should be able to watch who they want to watch, like who they want to like, and not feel pressure from friends, from other YouTubers, from anything. I also do not think that it was very cool of Luscious to go after Rich's sponsors. Why? Why do you think that is right to go after somebody's livelihood? YouTube is Rich's job. For you to attack that and you call yourself a friend is disgusting. Another point. Everybody's like, Rich is a bully, 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 bully. Nick is a bully. Lord, I wish I had bullies like Nick when I was growing up. Nick opens his door to his home to people. He reaches out. He helps smaller channels. What was he thinking? What a bully. Throwing the word bully around when it's not called for takes away all meaning of that word. It takes away from the pain that people are actually going through who are being bullied and it makes it mean nothing. Stop using that word when it does not apply. But where it does apply is when you send your stands into other people's DMs and have them bully everybody who happens to disagree with you. That is not cool. You want to stop bullying, rein your stands in. That's my thought. It takes a lot to get me worked up and this... I cannot stand how every little thing is coming around to race or this friend or that friend. Grow up. Grow the hell up. That's, that's what I think. I, these people, Nick is a bully. Nick is horrible. Blah. I know Nick. I got to meet Nick. And all these people that are trying to put him in some little box and say, label him and say that this is what he is. Have you met him? Have you given him a chance? You're pretty quick to judge somebody for not having met them and spent a minute of time in their presence. And that is not fair. I understand that Nick might not be any, but everybody's cup of tea. Dustin might not be everybody's cup of tea. So you know what you do? You mute them on Twitter. You unfollow them. You unsubscribe. You don't go out of your way and just try to make life miserable and attack them and their fans and anyone who comments. You don't attack the people who are making videos in their defense. And the only reason, in my opinion, people are making these videos in defense of them are because we ourselves are being attacked by the people who are so against bullying. Make that make sense. Because it 
doesn't. Get in your own lane. Stay in your own lane. Mind your own. And life can go on. I tell this to my kids all the time. Mind your own. Does it affect you? No. Mind your own. So, I am going to go wash this mask off my face now and I'm going to come up with some, come back and have a few final little thoughts for y'all. Okay, I'm back. I was a little heated. <laughs> my face, this mask does actually make it feel nice. I was not sure how it was going to feel when I was taking it off. It almost felt, I don't know, oily, but now it feels nice. So, the next step in my skincare routine is I'm going in with this Shani Darden Resurface. Um, Nick Snyder, the bully, uh, recommended this to me. <laughs> He's so rude, recommending great skincare for me. I've repurchased this a couple times. It is pricey, I will say. It's worth it. Um, it does have a new name now, though, I noticed uh, last time I was on the website. So something to keep in mind. I am still loving and using these Sigma skincare brushes. Uh, one thing about this cream, though, do not go out in the sun after you put it on. There's a lot of retinol. You will burn your face. So back to this issue. I apologize if I offended anyone with my outburst. Um, I just, I don't know. I think people need to be more mature. People need to be held accountable, yes. Um, what people have to realize, though, is that there are different economic, different political. There are so many variances. That's not the word I was looking for. It'll work. In how, when and where and how people were raised. Um, a good example. Where I grew up, well, even where I am now, in Alberta, Canada, we we have our natives. Now, a lot of my kin down in Montana, they are native. But when I go down there and I say native, they look at me and they say, we're not native, we're Indian. But here, that is not the politically correct word to use. It's things change, places are different. We have to realize that that is not, I am not saying that is an acceptable word in any way, shape, or form, the N-word. Also, on that point, I don't care if it's with an A, I don't care if it's with an E-R. It is not a word to use for anybody. I think if you want that word to lose its meaning or whatever, everybody needs to stop using it. Get it out of existence. We don't have to worry about it. I hate... It is hard to explain to children, taking this back to the mom road, um, why there are words that some people can use and other people can't when they're little. It is so hard to try to explain these things to them. Um, I'm going in with my La Mer, um, the Concentrate Eye Cream, but unfortunately, she's almost gone. So uh, I'm not repurchasing. I love it. I think it's amazing. I think it does amazing. I love it. I love, love, love it. But uh, price point, she's a little steep too. So I think in closing is, will this issue ever get resolved? No, I don't think it will because there's always going to be somebody offended about something and not just this situation. Like we are getting to the point now, in my opinion, where if I say, I love the, I don't know what kind this is. The Starbucks frapp oh, caramel frappuccino. Somebody's gonna be offended that I'm not drinking the vanilla one. So rather than jumping down everybody's throats for all these things, why not be accountable for how you feel? If I see somebody who offends me online, generally I just, if it is not affecting my life or hurting anybody, yeah, keep it rolling. Um, this is the Tata, Tata Harper Rejuvenating Serum that I'm going in with next. Um, like, there are so many topics that 
you cannot control how other people feel, but you can control how you feel, right? So if D loves the caramel frappuccino Starbucks drinks and that highly offends me, I have a couple different ways to deal with that. I can either go to D and say, hey, sis, what you doing? Like, that's not cool. Or I can just think in my mind, huh, everybody's entitled to be different and let it roll. That's my thoughts. That's where that is on that. Yes, I realize race is always going to be that sensitive subject. Rightfully so. I'm not saying it's not an important or big concern. And uh, now I'm going in with the reparative moisturizer from Tata Harper. I'm just saying that how we deal with it can be different and can be more productive. Sitting and screaming in somebody's face, you're a racist. Or going into somebody's DMs in all caps, you're a racist or you're a racist apologist. What is that accomplishing? Like, real, like, and this is a serious question. Do you think that that is going to be received in a positive way? Or would it be further ahead to send them a DM or say to them, Ugh, I'm not sure I agree with what you said. This is why. Like, which would you, re which would you be more responsive to? Um, I just, I am so fed up. It is a day where I, like, I know y'all in the States had Thanksgiving and it should have been a day to spend and enjoy your time with family. I don't have family anymore. You know, well, I have my husband, of course, my boys. My mother chose to not be in my life. My sister chose not to be in my life. I had to walk away from my father from a long time ago. Stop. Think. Is stuff like this worth taking away from time you have to spend with loved ones? Is it worth taking the time away from doing things that you want to be doing, that you enjoy doing. Because if it's not worth it, then why? Why are you doing it? Why are you giving it energy? Why are you letting these things live rent free in your head? So for me, I'm going to address it. I addressed it and now it's done. I'm done. I feel lighter. Life is good. I don't want to have to address this again. And I know it's going to come back up. Somebody is going to find a tweet of Rich's or Luscious's or Nick's or Dustin's from 25 freaking years ago. And we're going to be in this cycle again. Let's change how we deal with things. Let's deal with things on a personal level with the people involved rather than the Twitterverse, the YouTubeverse, whatever. My thoughts, my opinions. Now, because I fell down a rabbit hole, I am going to pose this question and it's a serious question and I want to know the answers. I put it on Twitter as well. On my second channel, I'm diving more into some deep topics. So where is the division, in your opinion, between hate speech and the freedom of speech? I know there's a lot of times, like I know Rich misspoke in one of his videos saying, you know, being a racist isn't illegal horrible way to word that but truth saying racist things is not illegal but it's hate speech isn't it and isn't hate speech illegal but yet we have a freedom of speech so where is that divide in your mind let me know down below i know this was a serious video i know i got a little irate i promise this won't happen that often I am generally usually able to keep things in check. Um, I am going to use the Jeffree Star Lemon Icebox Cookies Lip Scrub. Um, yeah, let me know down below what your thoughts are. Oh God, this is so good. A little extra to eat. 
Also, I should mention, I've mentioned this on my channel a few times now. Or did I go put it by my bed? <laughs> the uh, Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask is phenomenal. This is the lip balm, but there is a mask as well, and it is super thick. Here it is right here. It is to die for. I swear by this. Um, yeah, it's definitely been repurchased, but like, yeah, it is so thick. Like even to get it out of the tube sometimes is hard. So anyway, I'm going to end the video by saying I'm going to be friends with who I want to be friends with. I'm going to make content on stuff that I want to make content about. I am always going to be true to me. Those are my promises for my channel, for my life, for my family, for my friends. So my homework assignment to you guys, go out, be nice to somebody. A smile can change somebody's whole day. Appreciate the people that are in your life. Appreciate what you have and Spend your energy on positive things, making positive changes, helping build people up rather than negativity and tearing people down. That does nobody any good. So if you would like, hit like, subscribe, share if you'd like. And until next time, I do love and appreciate all of you. You have no idea the tough times you have gotten me through the last year here. And uh, until next time, I do love you. Bye.